Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I've got with me Lego set 76131, the Avengers Compound Battle from Avengers Endgame. And this set has 699 pieces and retails for $99.99, which in my opinion is kind of too expensive for the piece count. I mean, I guess you get seven minifigures, two of which are big figs, but for example, the Ultimate Quinjet has over 800 pieces and is only $80. But anyways, I've got all five of the sets in the series, so today I'm going to be speed building and reviewing this one that my girlfriend got me for my birthday, so let's get to it. So it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six bags, and two big fig bags, the, of course, instruction booklet and stickers, and then there's a bag of base plates. So I'm going to get uh, bag one laid out and start the speed build. So there's the completed set. Overall, it took about an hour and 15 minutes, I think, to complete. I did it over the duration of watching Infinity War, preparing for Avengers Endgame in like two weeks. I gotta say, it was kind of a fun build, but I feel like just the price and the amount of pieces you get, it's just not worth it, getting it at full price, $100. So I'd say if you're definitely gonna get this one, wait for it to go on sale. I'll first go over the minifigures and then I'll uh, talk about the set and all the features and stuff. So first up, we've got Captain Marvel. I don't actually have a Captain Marvel figure yet, so this is kind of cool. The only My only gripes with this is uh, I feel like her boots should have the red printing, the double printing some have. And I also feel like her hair doesn't match how it actually looks in Avengers Endgame. All right, next up, we've got Iron Man. I'm not sure what mark this is. He's made so many, but I love that they got the gold arms now, like in the comics, and if you open up the mask. Of course, he's got the heads-up display and a dual face, just a normal face. No hair swap, though. All right, next we've got Nebula and her team suit, or whatever they're calling these, quantum suits. I'm not really a fan of how repetitive these are in the sets, but this is the first one I've seen so far, my first set I've built. Next up, we've got Generic Outrider. And then after that, we've got Thanos. For some reason, he's still got this weird shoulder pad and helmet thing that aren't accurate to the movies. And he's just got this weird gold printing on his arms. And the gray suit just feels weird. I kind of I kind of like the Infinity War one better where he had the blue suit. It was more accurate, but he still had this weird helmet on. And for some reason, he has a hammer now. Even though we've seen him in set photos with a sword, but he came with a sword in the Infinity War ones. So I'm not really sure why. And then lastly, Hulk. I really like the big figs. I like how he has the blue shorts on. The only thing is it's weird that the box shows him in his, you know, purple and gray suit, but then he just comes like this in the set. And as for the features of the set, it's got a lot of playability for kids and stuff. Not something that someone my age can really get enjoyment out of, but I mean, it's a cool thing to have on display. I've got the, uh, the front door here. If I can open it. Yeah, there's the front door there, the little keypad. I like this little thing right here with the car coming in and out. Garage door opens nice and smooth. Get the car in there. Little turret, more stud shooters. There's a lot of stud shooters on this set. I'm not really a fan of those because they get launched and then lost. You got a satellite dish. 
Um, on, on the rooftop, of course, we've got the helicopter. Got a fire extinguisher on the side. Spare of Nebula sword on the other. I like how it fits right in there like this. Just like that. In the back, we've just snatched the back of the garage. And then here, you've got the computer monitor. <clears throat> it's got some gauntlet picture on it, like they're studying it. I don't know if this is actually a spoiler for the movie. Of course, we've got the gauntlet in there. Just clips on like that. And then up here, we've got the meeting room. Some weapons underneath. And this little revolving door so you can get from the meeting room to the helicopter. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty decent set. You know, it's got a lot of play features, uh, display value, great selection of minifigures. But for the price, for the amount of pieces you get, I feel like it's just not worth it. So I can't see myself recommending it, you know, at the full $100, maybe if it was on sale or something. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching.